Praise the Lord. My name is Nessie Joyce. I am going to tell the testimony of Brother Bhakt Singh. Brother Bhakt Singh was a Christian evangelist. He was born on 6th June 1903 in Jawahar, Madhya in Lakshmi Bhatt in Punjab, North India. He was born to Hindu parents but was raised as a Sikh. He went to Christian missionary school but was never influenced by them and despised Christians. Once he was awarded a Bible for achieving high grades. But he tore all the pages from the Bible but kept the cover because he thought it was beautiful. Bhakt always wanted to go to England for higher studies but his mother feared that he would be converted into a Christian. So, in 1926, he somehow convinced his parents to let him go to England. Before going, he promised his father that he will not be converted into a Christian. After going to England, he quickly adapted to the British lifestyle. He shared his long hair which meant loyalty to the Sikh religion. But he never found true happiness. And once he went on a vacation to Canada. There he first experienced God's love and presence for the first time in a small meeting. Then in 1929 he went to Canada to continue his studies for engineering. There he was befriended by John and Ellen Hayward who were local residents and devout Christians. They offered him to live with them. Then he started going to church with them and they gave him a Bible. After a few months he accepted Jesus Christ as his personal savior and God. He was baptized on 4th February 1932 in Canada. In 1933, he returned to India and met his parents in Mumbai. Before coming to India, he sent a letter to his parents about his conversion to a Christian. Hearing this, his parents asked him to become a Sikh again and they won't tell his relatives about his conversion, but Bhakt refused. Upon his refusal, his parents loved him, and Bhakt Singh was homeless. But he started preaching the gospel of God in the streets of Mumbai. Soon, he started attracting large crowds. Then, he went to South India and started preaching there. God accepted his ministry, and but with three conditions. First, do not join any organizations. Second, do not make your own plans. Third, do not make your needs known by others. Then he started local assemblies patent on New Testament principles. In 1941, he held his first holy convocation based on Leviticus 23. But the one in Hyderabad was always the largest, growing up to 25,000 participants. They would eat and sleep in huge tents and they would pray. He started more than 10,000 churches in India and around the world. On September 17, 2000, he was called to glory. The news about his home call spread it like wildfire. About 600,000 people came to pay his last tribute to him. And on 22nd September, on 22nd September, it is funeral about 11:30 a.m. The shrine was shining brightly and a rainbow circled it for a short time. Even our church was started by Brother Bhakt Singh in 1975. Thank you.